Marvel, it's been a while. It's been five years since Avengers Endgame. It's been five years since we've seen excitement over a movie in the MCU. Well, folks, this past weekend, um, Deadpool and Wolverine didn't disappoint. At least it didn't disappoint this guy. Um, Deadpool Wolverine had a huge weekend. And I mean huge. Just look at this, folks. Deadpool and Wolverine obliterates R-rated record with $205 million opening weekend. That's the domestic number. Eighth biggest in box office history. Yeah. Remember, back in the day, uh, 2016's Deadpool set a record at $132 million for its opening weekend. Well, throw in a little Wolverine and you get a weekend of $205 million domestically. Needless to say, it's not a bad, not a bad start. Now, over Rotten Tomatoes, you take a look at the audience score. It's at a whopping 97%. So needless to say, the audience likes this movie better than the critics. That's not a surprise. Now, the, the funniest thing about this, the funniest thing about this is what, what was the last movie that Marvel put out? Um, 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 it was, it, it was the Marvels, right? Well, the box office for the Marvels in total was $199.7 million. And Deadpool and Wolverine, well, just domestically, they blew that away. I mean, yeah, it was $6 million, but they blew it away. But the worldwide box office for the weekend is $438 million. Now, just a side note, I went and saw the movie uh, Friday night, 6 p.m. show, right after work, and saw it in IMAX. Theater was, I'd say, 85% full. I mean, there was a few rows of seats down by the screen that were empty, but Every seat behind the row I was sitting, and I was sitting, you know, about, I'd say, halfway up, was full. And of course, I liked the movie so much Friday night, I went back and saw it again Saturday. 1 p.m. show, again in IMAX, different theater, totally different theater. And that theater, which holds about 240 people, was 90% full. And, and yet, going into, the mo going into seeing this movie, I knew what I was going in to see. I was going in to see Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, Deadpool and Wolverine. I was going in to see the jokes, the fan service, the cameos. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it yet but there are ample cameos. And of course, they roasted everybody. They roasted Fox. They roasted Disney. They roasted Marvel. They roasted themselves. Now, I did see a couple people on social media. One person in particular said, yeah, it wasn't for me. This movie wasn't for me. It had Disney's hands all over it. Well, that's fine. That's your opinion. But for me, I give the movie 8 out of 10. The only reason why I give it 8 out of 10 is that while you had Wolverine in a comic-accurate costume for the first time ever, and you have Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman, they just play off of each other so well. The chemistry is out of this world. You've got the cameos, you got the jokes, you got the mocking, you have all that stuff. The story, the story was a little thin, and I didn't like the fact that, you know, they had 
they had to pull the TVA, TVA into this. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm not discounting anything out of this movie except for the story. I may have said that wrong, but oh well. So, this is over a deadline. Actually, that isn't the article I was looking for. We'll go back to the Variety article here. So, when you look at what the first couple of Deadpool movies did at the box office, which this is what, what I was expecting. I mean, you had Deadpool 1, you had Deadpool 2. They did okay. They did moderately well. So the first Deadpool movie, it got off to a good start. Its opening weekend was $132 million. Okay. Then you take a look at Deadpool 2, which came out a couple years later. Its opening weekend was $125 million, and this movie just went, boom, right by them. Now, is this movie going to do a billion dollars? Time will tell. I mean, remember, Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, it opened huge. I think its opening weekend worldwide was $450 million, and then the next weekend it just fell off a cliff. So... It remains to be seen where Deadpool and Wolverine end up. I would absolutely love it if this movie did a billion dollars. Now, is this movie going to save the MCU? Is this going to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe? No, it's not. But with the other things that are going on within Disney, Marvel, you know, you had RDJ being announced as Victor Von Doom, Dr. Doom. In the next Avengers movie, Avengers Doomsday. Doomsday? Yeah, Doomsday. Um, some people are hyped up for that. Me, I'm kind of lukewarm on that announcement. It's going to be interesting, interesting to see what they do. I mean, one of the things I asked is, is this going to be like a Josh Brolin thing where you have Josh Brolin playing Thanos and then you have him also playing Cable? Of course, granted, Thanos was an MCU. Cable was a Fox, a Marvel Fox deal. But that remains to be seen. But if you have not seen Deadpool and Wolverine, what are you waiting for? Get out and see it. If you have seen it, comment down below. Tell me what you thought of it. While you're at it, take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys later.